I'm no stranger to MMOs. It's been in my blood to play these microtransaction money suckers ever since I was little. Now these days, things have changed with microtransactions being everywhere on mobile games. The only real thing that hasn't changed in over 10 years is Wizard 101's main mechanical functions on how it operates as a game. So today, I'm gonna go over a couple things I would add to Wizard 101. To my knowledge, there isn't one MMO that doesn't have an inbox of some kind regarding sending messages to other players. This is a very simple feature that you can't tell me it's impossible to implement. The reason why I figure this could be useful is let's say a player on your friends list is offline. You don't really have a way to contact them unless you know them in real life or they come back online. But by being able to send them a message through the game, it will let them know something important or plan an event ahead of time. Now, I don't know why there are no updates for this. Keep in mind, it's been about 11 years now. The reason why I bring this up is because most MMOs I've seen have this feature in some way or some fashion. Wizard 101 does have one trading system, except the fact that it's just trading cards. Sort of like trading Yu-Gi-Oh cards with your friends at the middle school lunch table, but virtually. The only way to get any other item from other players besides trading cards is through the bazaar. Alec being a middleman in a drug exchange, and whether or not you get the goods or things go wrong is up to him. You basically have to auction an item off in order to exchange it to somebody, while at the same time you risk having it being bought by somebody else. I've seen countless threads and community posts looking for furniture items to be sold at the bazaar, all because there is no trading system like this. Now you might go, but Hunter, this is bad for business. They lose out on money. Sure, I mean, there's an argument to be made there, but let's just say I crafted something that couldn't be bought with crowns, like an expensive piece of wooden shit. Why do I have to sell it through the bazaar in order to give that item to someone as a gift or trade? So over the years, I've seen this idea pop up of being able to exchange these virtual tokens for something off of a boss's or creature's loot table. The way I think of it is a nice idea, parallel to Elder Scrolls Online and their loot crates. The idea, like Elder Scrolls Online's loot crates, is to have items on the boss's loot table to be converted into these tokens. The number of tokens you would get depends on the rarity of the item. Now sure, there are arguments to be made that money could be lost somehow, but the upside is there are countless items out there on bosses without having to pay. I don't exactly see a ton of negatives outweighing the positives to this. I've seen so many people play this game without ever getting the drop they wanted, all because the so-called RNG was not on their side. So they gotta keep fighting this one boss over and over just to get the item to be able to compete with other people. Or be viably competitive in PvE or something, I, I don't know. This one, akin to the token system, is when players in a dungeon can trade items with another during a specific period. I've seen all too often players getting an item that isn't the correct school or it was something they already had. There's literally no point in getting a pair of boots twice. It's not like the gear in this game degrades or smells after a while due to usage. The problem is, after you get this item, it just takes up space. And it makes you feel like shit knowing that you gotta destroy it because you probably can't sell it either. Now I know I'm drawing a lot from Elder Scrolls Online, but the way they set it up is perfect. You have an item that you can't use or you don't want, you can either deconstruct it for crafting materials or trade it with another player in that dungeon. Wizard 101's system doesn't have that. You can't do anything about doubling up or tripling up on items you don't need or want. The only way to get rid of them is by feeding it to your pet or trashing it. You should be able to give items you can't use to another player who might need it. Like I mentioned in a previous video, put some sort of recycling program in the game or something. It might not be eco-friendly necessarily. Like the old saying goes, another man's garbage is still another man's garbage. But at least you'd 
probably be helping someone out or the spiral of getting rid of trash one step at a time. Well, that's all I really have to say for this video. If you have any other ideas on how you would improve the game, comment it down below. Also, if you want to see me play other games or Let's Plays and not play Wizard101, then visit my second channel called Froggies2. Other than that, take care and see you guys.